With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student, the problem is statement 1 and 2 are given. First statement says the function defined as fx is equal to a raised to power x. fx1 is less than fx2. x1 is greater than x2 when a is lies between 0 to 1. So first we make the graph of y is equal to a raised to power x. So y is equal to a raised to power x graph we make over here. And where the condition given a is lies between 0 to 1. So a is lies between 0 to 1. What is the graph of y is equal to a raised to power x? So y is equal to a raised to power x is graph look like this thing. This is the graph which is lie look like this. This is the graph of y is equal to a raised to power x when a lies between 0 to 1. Now the question said if fx1 fx2 fx1 is less than fx2 so let's take over here this is fx1 which is less than fx2. Now is this condition first we write the value of x1 x2 over here so this value come out on x axis is what this is the x1 and where is x2 point x2 is lie on this line so this is the value of x1 and x2 this is x1 and this is x2 which is bigger and which is smaller here we can say that finally we can say that x1 is less than x1 x2 and statement says x1 is greater than x2 that means statement 1 is false so here we write statement 1 is false so statement 1 is false now statement 2 is what statement 2 same function but this a is greater than 1 so make the graph first first we make the graph of y is equal to a raised to power x over here so y is equal to a raised to power x look like graph is look like this. This is the graph of y is equal to a raised to power x. This is starting from this point and goes and goes and goes. So this point 0 comma 1 we know that this is 0 comma 1 but no need to write this thing. So this is equal to y is equal to a raised to power x when a is greater than 1. Now these are the x axis y axis. So what is the condition given? Condition is fx1 is less than fx2. So what is fx1 fx2? Let's take the values fx1, fx2. This is fx1, let's say. This is our fx1. And here this is fx2. Now, take the values on the line. So, these are the value. So, take the x values. So, this value is become this 2. On the x-axis is this. And this fx2 value is this on the x-axis is this. So this is the value. Now what is this? This is x1 and this is x2. What is the condition over here? We can say that the condition is x1 is less than x2. And statement said what? x1 is less than x2. That means the statement 2 is true. So here we can say that statement 2 is true. So which of the following option is said? First statement is false. The second is true. First is false and second is true. So this is the correct statement. D is the correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.